Hello everyone and welcome to another MM Moments. Uh, so basically like I promised I'm going to do a quick video here to tell you about my UI because I've had a lot of requests about that. So basically what I'm going to do is I have a separate window open in here which contains every single add-on I have on, um, on my character and I'm going to tell you what each add-on does and uh, why I'm using it and what I'm using it for. So the order is not going to be re very relevant because I'm just going to go probably through alphabetic order. Um, I know that you probably are going to want to know how I configured them to look like this because some of these add-ons don't look anything like this when you get them. But to be honest, that would really take a lot of time because I worked on my UI for like at least... Uh, um, <laughs> Because it took me at least like around four hours to fully configure my UI to look something different. My first version of the UI I also had uh, down here um, the KG panels thing to cover the whole thing. But after I made this one it feels more transparent and kind of more clean. So I, I'd rather stick without KG panels. But I know that some people like it and go wild with it. And it's really about personal preference. So... Let's get this right on the road and start off with the first add-on that shows up, up on my list, which is also going to be one of the add-ons, which I'm going to say it's the, it's like a must-have for everyone, is Bartender. Okay, so what does Bartender do? If you look at my bars, they are completely different from what, what the default Blizzard UI brings. I have no color for graphics of eagles and stuff down here. I have no minimap up here but the minimap is different um, but basically I don't have any of the default stuff I don't have any of the bars in the here the thing which I try to make is like I try to bring everything down to the bottom because most of the time on the bottom you don't really have to pay much attention what's going on in this area of the screen whereas on the upper area of your screen the more space you have the better which is why I kind of try to took everything away from the top of my screen. But this is just me. You might have a completely different idea and that's okay. You can do it the complete opposite if you prefer. You can put all your bars up here too. Like for instance, look here. If I go slash bartender, um, I can do this. I can unlock my bars. And after you unlock your bar, you're going to notice that there's more than just the bars I have here. There's also a vehicle bar that shows up over here. There's a bar that shows up over here on top. There's a pet bar because sometimes you have some quests or some crap that you have to use a pet bar. So I keep it in here as well. And um, basically what I did is um, if after you unlock your bars with Bartender, you just move them around and you can enable your bars or disable them however you see fit like for instance at the moment my bar 2 is disabled because I don't use it but if I click enabled there it is um, the thing is what what I tried to do is I had my bar set up without bartender um, and then when I put bartender on I basically set up the bars to look just like they did almost without bartender so that uh, if I ever need to get away from Bartender, I'm not going to notice such a huge difference because the bars are going to pretty much look the same, but they're just going to be in different places. And this is something you really got to take care of when you're doing your UI, is that you don't want to get locked onto an add-on, because if that add-on disappears, it's going to be a pain in the ass for you. So anyways, this is Bartender. I've also got something special with Bartender, which I'm going to show you. Uh, which is, of course, after you get bartender, your bars are not going to look like this, so clean and stuff. So basically what you're also going to have to get is this other add-on that's called Button Facade. And after you get Button Facade, what this allows you is to switch the, the way that your buttons look like on bartender. Like, for instance, if I go for Blizzard... This is the Blizzard's default UI thingy, and, and if you notice, it's all clunky and stuff because I changed a lot of stuff on Bartender. Uh, like, um, on each bar I change the um, padding here, which basically means that it's adjusted to the skin I'm using on Bartender. The padding is like the spacing in between bars, which is why if I go for the default UI, they all like clunk up on top of each other because the padding is all wrong for this um, 
skin. But there's also the dream layout, which is basically with nothing, it's just the skills. And there's the zoomed, which is bigger buttons, but the thing is, these are skins you can download for Button Facade, and they all will change how your thing looks like. I just use DSM Fade, I just like it, and then you can also adjust the level of gloss you put on your skills. I have 67%, I'm, I didn't do too much work, I'm just going to show you what happens when you change it. You see, basically your bars increase in brightness there, you see? So basically it's, it's kind of just a, a bit of eye candy, I like 67, it's cool. Um, so anyways, that's Bartender and Button Facade, okay? Um, I hope you guys um, got that, Bartender, Button Facade. So next up, it's going to be uh, the DSM Fade. It's also an add-on. It's a skin, but it's an add-on that you need to get. It's like a separate add-on. You just put it in your add-ons folder and it shows up as a skin for Button Facade. It's pretty simple. If you look up Button Facade, I'm sure you'll find tutorials and stuff on how to make this. Uh, next up is Chatter. Yeah, I switch... Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> I switched the default Blizzard chat thingy because it had like those buttons uh, in the left side and they really annoyed me and now I have more chat area and I can also scroll up and down using my cursor which is not available with the default one the problem with this one is that if you go a bit up and then forget about it people can keep chatting and chatting and chatting and chatting forever because I, I think the buffer size is the buffer size is even bigger which means that it can chat for even longer without you noticing it and then you're gonna have to scroll down manually because I still didn't bother to look which shortcut makes you go the whole way down so anyways this is chatter uh, next up is obviously DVM you're not gonna see DVM but I'm gonna try to show it to you here yeah, my map is kind of clunky because I have all, everything hidden in my map just so that I don't have to look at it. But here it is, Deadly Boss Mods. Uh, okay, Deadly Boss Mods, let's see if I can just put a testing up. Where is it? Bar style, blah, 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 blah. Where's the test bars? Mm, 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 mm. Basically what happens is I put up um, a timer. Oh, I made a big one. So basically this, I'm going to cancel this one. Or I would cancel this one, but whatever. Basically that's DVM. You should all know what um, DVM does by now. Deadly Boss Mods. It's going to bring up all sorts of bars when you're doing bosses that help you do the event. So that's DVM. I have it. Uh, next up after DVM is... Debuff filter. A lot of people asked me about debuff filter. Okay, so what does debuff filter do? For this, I'm actually going to have to go down here and get myself a mob or two. So debuff filter is going to track um, whatever you want it to track, really. I just, I'm just going to respec into arms here because I have a lot of procs and arms that debuff filters shows. Switch to my arms gear here. Okay. Oh sweet, I don't have my bar set up or anything. Cool. It's gonna be so fucking noob. Let's go. 